Here we have the Mako 12 crosslight version, the crosslight layup. I haven't seen any of these on the internet, so I'm going to post a little bit about this. This is their thermoformed uh, model of the Mako 12, and uh, it's quite a different boat than, than the other one, than the rotor molded one. First of all, if you come to the front end here, you can see it only rises 16 inches, where I think the other one rows 21 or 22 inches, the rotor molded one. The fit and finish is amazing though, it's, uh, it's beautifully done. You know, it's underneath the chair, there's no more hatches. You're missing the loop. That used to hold the rudder in place, that's not there anymore. I kind of missed that, transporting it. it. Would have been nice to have had that. And uh, also missing. That, that I kind of missed, and I had it out for a couple hours paddling yesterday, are the foot braces that go here for when you're paddling. That would have been nice to have those in place again. Now, if you want to look inside here, I could actually lower the camera down and we'll see what kind of picture we can get. Very nice and shiny in there. Notice this looks very much like, like plumbing pipe in here, which isn't a bad thing because plumbing pipe's really strong. You can make you can make furniture out of it. Let's move that around a little bit. Turn it around the other way, just for my own information. And since I'm not able to stick my head in there. bring it out. I found it. It handled quite nicely. Like I, said, I only had it out a couple hours and it's my, my first experience with a paddle kayak. And uh, paddling is definitely less of an effort than, uh, I, I'm sorry, pedaling is less of an effort than, than paddling, even though, you know, I've paddled since 1975. So it's going to be very interesting to see, especially how the front end holds up in some heavy waves, if I have to take on a lot of water or not. And just generally, right now quite happy with it, quite pleased. I think, uh, you know, if you want to order this layup, I ordered this in uh, October 2019. And I got it in second week of August 2020. So it's going to take you a while to get it. And of course, Riot Kayaks isn't very communicative. In fact, they didn't answer any of my emails. And uh, even the dealer had trouble getting any kind of communication from them. So, you know, any questions that we might have are probably going to remain questions because the company doesn't talk to us. Beautiful boat from a non-communicative company.